Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. So I have an interesting subject here, at least I think it is. I'll link the article for you down below in the description. It is coming from Cord Cutters News. So the headline here is, should big tech pay more for internet service? It looks like the internet providers think so. The internet providers being AT&T, Verizon, Spectrum, and you know all the other players out there that provide internet service to some of our largest tech companies such as Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, Google, and on and on and on. Their argument is simply that they're spending so much money to build out high quality internet service, getting those networks out to especially rural communities is very costly for them. That's their argument. It's very costly for them. And they feel that the big firms that are demanding the access in those areas should be forced to help out given their positions, right? They have more than enough money. Amazon is, is billions upon billions. And, uh, you know, they want certain access. They want, they need certain demands from some of these internet providers to acquire their business, to have their systems running up 24 seven. So the argument is valid, right? Why shouldn't these smaller, you know, less fortunate internet providers request some assistance? So here's the story. The biggest debate here, right, among internet providers is whether major tech companies should be forced to pay more to help out internet services, build out internet services. So it looks like a lobby group called U.S. Telecom, right, which represents AT&T, Verizon, CenturyLink, and other companies, has asked the FCC to force major tech companies to pay more for internet service by contributing funds to help build rural internet services. The argument is companies like AT&T and Verizon spend billions to build out their networks so major tech companies can have more customers. Yet those companies do not help cover the costs of the network buildouts. Not only that, but phone companies must pay a percentage of their revenues into a fund that is used to help build out rural internet service through an FCC program. So now the local phone companies are upset that they are being forced to carry the burden of bringing high-speed internet to rural Americans but big tech companies do not need to spend any money to help. Because of this, because of this phone, companies want big tech companies to have to also pay a percentage of their earnings into the same programs to bring high-speed internet rule, uh, internet to rural Americans. If big tech joins this effort, it could bring billions to the program to roll out internet service to rural Americans. So the, the argument to me is valid. I've been hearing about this for a while, at least close to a year, this same subject, this same scenario where, you know, the carriers feel like they're doing all the heavy lifting and the big tech companies are profiting off of them. Now, it's not to say that, you know, the carriers aren't making tons and tons of money off of the services being used by these big tech companies, right? They're obviously they're paying to use the services and they have millions of employees. So there's plenty of money going to these companies, but it's also very costly for them to bring the service to some of these tech companies where they're located is in these private little towns where there's really just nothing there and they have to build from the ground up to get that service out there. And we know it can be a very expensive task for them to do. So that argument is valid. I think being that these, both of these, you know, being that big tech and wireless is pretty much all part of the same realm. They kind of go hand in hand, right? I think that there should be some kind of discussion. I think the FCC should step in and say, listen, you guys need to work together to build out a bigger, stronger internet service. This way, you know, big tech's company, you know, big tech's customers are satisfied. Their systems are running smooth 24 seven. The employees have all, all the access, high quality access that they need to continue to do their job. The big tech firms can still make their millions. And then also the carriers are able to, you know, get the funding, get the money that they need to build out a high quality network. And then if some other small little companies come into that same town and are able to piggyback on their service there because it's now stronger, thanks to the help of big tech, you know, they've been able to build a really good solid network. It can bring them some more business as well and vice versa. It's like one hand washing the other. So it's a valid argument, I think. Whether or not we're going to see a resolution for this anytime soon, it really, uh, I don't know. And I say that with a, with a really confused tone because we've been hearing about this, like I said, for a while, and yet I don't know why this is still news. Why hasn't this been resolved already? Like, it's just a no-brainer. Like, work together. They simply, they need each other, right? They need each other. 
big tech needs the, you know, needs the service and the carriers need the business from big tech. There's a lot of money being made from both off of each other at this point. So I think it's fair if, if, you know, carriers have to pay a percentage to help make the network stronger then so should big tech because they rely on that same service. So it is a valid concern as far as, you know, the topic here. So anyway, that's all I have for you. It's real short, real brief to the point link. Like I said, down for you in the description, if you want to read it, feel free to comment down below your thoughts on this. I do think this is kind of a, a silly argument here. I think it's a no brainer. I think, you know, just work together. Very simple. Work together, help help each other out. You're both making money. You'll make more money if if things uh, get sorted out better. If they're if the carriers are able to get some more funding to help build out. It's, like I said, it's just a no brainer. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.